Hi, my name is uh, Gaurav and uh, I'm a computer engineer. I'm currently a junior at UCI. Um, I like computer engineering because I want to get a feel of hardware as well as software. I, I like playing uh, soccer, I like playing ping pong. Uh, I've been learning, I've been, uh, I used to play for fun before but uh, recently I started like actually getting into it. I've been playing for three months pretty seriously. I'm not that good yet compared to the other people in the club but I'm getting there slowly. Uh, I play games when I get the time, online games, but not that much. Um, I also cook, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Hey, how, are you, how are you guys doing? Good. Yeah. You guys ready for week four? Yeah. All right. Um, so basically today, uh, I want to go through each individual one of you and your team as a whole to see exactly what your goals today are and tomorrow for this, this weekend. Uh, since today is officially your first day where you actually get to start on your projects or whatever development for your projects are. Um, so let's just start with Q. I'm going to do the camera and LED system. Probably I will do the LED first, but I want to figure out if the camera would work for the water So today you're, you're going to test out the hardware yes. that we're going to supply to see if it's going to work? What exactly are you going to try to do? What are you going to use? The camera, the Arduino, the and find out the water meter to test. I mean, at least a piece of paper with numbers in a dark circumstance, so I can test it out. And with an LED system, I have to figure out that part first, and then see tomorrow. So just to make sure I get it, you're going to, you're going to figure out how to in, uh, install a camera and a light so you can read numbers from a certain meter or, or just for now as a template as a paper. Yes. Is that just for today or is this the whole weekend? Whole week. All right, what about you, Tej? Um, so I'm going to be working on mostly this, like how to connect to the server because we haven't decided exactly which server we're going to use because I know Q actually just pointed out an open source server so it might even be free um, to use. And then also maybe working on just the user interface and finding like something that can transfer between a iOS and Android some of the like wrapper functions there. Okay, it's good that you, you kind of know what you want to do, but what, what the, the point is I want you to focus and figure out what tasks you want to do the today for the next two days. So exactly which one of the two you're going to try to get on? Uh, I'll start, I mean, uh, we're going to do the research from the server because it kind of involves both of us first and then I'll move on to the kind of the user interface probably. And what about you, Garof? Um, so today I think it's going to be about research. Uh, I'm going to try to finish up some classes online. And uh, maybe we'll start with the UI design, like a, a, like a hardware hard, hard part of it, like just to see how we want everything to work out. And we'll see from there. So what have you so far started already in class? Because I know you started at the beginning of this week. Yeah, so we were watching a lot of videos online. Uh, I think I did about 50 something lectures online and uh, it's pretty intensive but yeah I'm trying to get it so. And basically for this week and what is exactly the main objective to complete? Uh, I mean we're still trying to like get it done as much as we can. So now we're focusing on learning what it takes to develop the app. Uh, Gaurav here has more of the experience with Java. He's done some of it for his classes. So now is going through the free uh, tutorials on Udemy. I'm doing the camera system. Try to make the try to make the audio. I know to take the photo now because it's kind of hard right now. Well, I mean, we got the storyboard down, so we know exactly how our first revision is going to look like. Um, right now, it's just getting over the hurdle of learning the stuff for me, at least. You know, Gorov can probably dive into it much more but we want to work on it together since we are a team. Um, so we haven't done any development just yet. It can work on this, the thing I built up already, so it's so sad. I'm stuck, no? 
In regards to Ivan and Grab, I haven't seen much progress. They're obviously progressing in their classes, but otherwise in the project they're not progressing at all. Um, Tage, on the other hand, he's actually working on his development of the app. I'm uh, working on uh, just reviewing some Swift for my iOS application. I'd say we're in the research, in the very beginnings of the design phase. Q is currently working on getting the camera to work with the LED light. I don't know, she's just able to take some pictures. She's a big fan of selfies, so she took some selfies with the Arduino camera. We're just stuck with the camera. Um, I think at this point, we should just not spend time trying to debug the camera anymore. We should just get a new camera um, and then have her give us that um, that camera that, that we should get for replacement from her by no later, by next this Wednesday, so we can have it in as, as soon as possible. So here's the question that I always ask people, and, and I most of the time I don't, I don't get the right answer. What is the difference between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino? The Raspberry Pi is a computer, right? Okay. Yeah. No, what you tell me? Are you asking me if it's... Well, okay, computer? Raspberry Pi is a computer. Okay. And then what is the Arduino? A microcontroller. Okay. So what is the difference? I mean, those are the names, right? But what is the difference? When do you use the Raspberry Pi and when do you use the Arduino? Well, I know Raspberry Pi can be used for, like, the, you could make it like a server, into a server, you could make it, you could do like even a personal computer if you really wanted to, you could load up like Linux. And yeah, just... and what about Arduino? It only does whatever you tell us to do. I mean, but just like a computer, right? The computer yeah, does the same sure. thing. You tell it what to do and then it does it. Um, one big difference that I always like to point out is, um, I, I like to give examples of, of projects. So, for example, if you have you guys heard of home automation or Internet of Things? I mean, it's not for my project, but um, it was super informative. Like, uh, it made me like realize how important like learning that would be. Probably, I could like help you out and like learn from the whole process myself. So, in automation, you usually use uh, you know motors, sensors, things like that. You can do that in your house to automate your house to make things happen, right? In those kind of projects, most of the time you want to use an Arduino. Why? Because it's a microcontroller and you use it to control things. So if you want to control a motor and you want to tell the motor, hey, do three revolutions, then that's really easy with the Arduino. If you're dealing with complex calculations, servers, things like that, you want to use this computer, right? This is going to be, it's going to ha have a lot more processing power than this guy and a lot more memory because for memory, you're using an SD card. You're not, this, this already has a fixed memory, you cannot add more memory to this. And it's usually not enough for pictures or things like that. That's why you need to save it into an SD card. The purpose of the workshop this morning was to give them some basic uh, information on how to use uh, the equipment they're using. I noticed that Q has some uh, knowledge using uh, electronics like Arduino and sensors but she's still not very strong on, on a few things like how does voltage travel through, you know, through the whole circuit. So I need to make sure that she understands those things so she's able to troubleshoot them on her own. If she doesn't understand them, then she's always gonna be dependent on either her teammate or a mentor. And we're trying to avoid that. We want her to be able to solve those problems on her own. And same with the rest of the, of the uh, innovators. Um, they all sat down to listen to the, uh, to the workshop which is great because they show in a lot of interesting learning new skills and I think that this is going to help them in their projects. It's going pretty good. Uh, things are getting down. Uh, we're trying to get stuff working. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. I thought uh, we had enough resources, but I guess we don't. Um, we got to like do more research. We need more time together. And uh, yeah, that's and uh, I, I don't know if we have enough time anymore.